Good morning, it is 7.24 and we are headed down to go to Magic Kingdom for the first day and then tomorrow we'll do Epcot and Hollywood Studios. Like I said, 7.20, the buses start 45 minutes before the park opens, so <laughs> we're trying to get there early, which I think is obviously a very good decision. You can't tell, but we came down with quite a few people from our building there are quite a few people heading the same direction as us. So a friend of mine sent me uh, a picture being mommy with style from last October and the line was insane. So we're trying to at least get somewhere closer to the front of the line to get in or on the bus. So we'll let you know what the line looks like. There's a lot of people up and moving or hopefully they're just grabbing breakfast. Oh. Nope, the line's insane. We just caught eye of it. The line's long, but it's not as bad as we anticipated it to be. So we'll see, we'll let you know how many buses it takes for us to get to Magic Kingdom. The bus is here and it's 7.38, which means the bus actually starts running 45 minutes earlier than the 45 minutes. So it starts running an hour and a half early to, before the park opens. So that's reality, an hour and a half. I would say get here, <laughs> there's Katie. <laughs> I would say get here at like seven to like 6.45. Line at 7.40 in the morning. You have to wear your mask on the bus. This is the third bus and it's looking like we're gonna make it, so not too bad. It's very exciting. to walk down Main Street. This is Katie's first time. I'm so excited. I haven't been here in like 10 years. We were children. Okay. We're about to see the castle in five, four, three, two, one. There she is. What do you think? Is it everything you dreamed of? I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I was so excited, I forgot to mention, we made it in the park at 8.11. So we made it in the park, they were letting people in, like we got in an hour early, so yeah, good to know. Are you on your picture? Yeah. You gotta hold it down. We've taken all our obligatory pictures in front of the castle because obviously, and now we're headed to our ride. We are gonna do Splash Mountain. Well, maybe, we might actually wait till that one to the end of the day, but we have Be Our Guest, we're eating there in the afternoon, well, like 11.30 lunch so we're heading to the other side of the park first to make our way back around so we're waiting waiting to go to the Adventureland side of the park where there's jungle cruise and pipes of the caribbean and all that kind of stuff but there is a wait of people they haven't opened it yet i'm sure all the rides have to open soon not till nine so you can come in and like your pictures and everything but still gotta wait to get to the rides so Katie got this van off Amazon for what, $5? $5.36. Oh, yeah. And this little booger puts out some air, let me tell ya. So the thing's gonna be our lifesaver for the day. Cause as you can see, the perspiration is real. first. We're just winging it. Okay, so change of plans. The two rides we wanted to ride, Jungle Cruise and Pirates of the Caribbean, are both closed. 
They didn't say why for Jungle Cruise, but Pirates is having technical difficulties. So now we've lost all the time and we're headed to something else. We came with droves of people, I kid you not, over to Thunder Mountain Railroad. So we're doing this first since our first two plans didn't work out so good. I'm glad we went there first because the line now is out the back and we pretty much walked on. So it was fun. We were in the front, so we were waiting for the back over we like hills, but it was still a good ride. Next stop, Haunted Mansion. We are moving through this line pretty quick and it's free, it's like nice, there's fans, you're in the shade, we're moving quick. Come, foolish mortals, to the Haunted Mansion. I am your host. favorite rides in Magic Kingdom. Not to jump the gun, but I think it is. Um, where are we going next? I don't know. We're gonna wing it. We eat at Be Our Guest at 11.30, which is an hour and a half from now, so we've decided to come that direction, and we're at, it's a small world, and then maybe, I don't know that we'll have time to do Peter Pan's flight, but we'll ride it today. We've actually moving lines really fast. I mean, yeah, there are 40 minute waits or whatever, but it's not bad at all. Like, it's AC, it's air conditioned, you're out of the heat. It's pretty good. world it's always a classic it's a good one I liked it and now we are headed to Little Mermaid we're gonna do a couple more things before we go to be our guest Little Mermaid these look very similar to Haunted Mansion except obviously it's aerial theme so the lines all move, they just move so quick. Like, I can't elaborate on that enough. I didn't know how I was like, I'm going. That's why we are going to be a queen and I did for a while. Away at arms. Let's see. Oh, 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 we have 29 minutes no yeah 29 minutes until we go eat i'd be our guest for now we're just trying to find something else to do pretty short quick because obviously we don't want to miss our reservation and then uh yeah we're off so we're down here next to dumbo elephants and everything we did jump in a line over here, but wasn't moving fast enough, so we decided to head on over to be our guest early. We're headed in to eat it, be our guest. Right. 
Look how cute these are. That was such a good meal. The food was delicious and the experience was awesome. We ate in the West Wing. My only two tiny complaints would be that in the West Wing, I wish it was just a little bit lighter. Like I wish you could see things just a little bit better. And I wish the beast would have come to all the tables. He just kind of stood in the corner, but that could just be a COVID thing. I don't know. Otherwise, fantastic, well worth it. We realized that while we were eating, we missed a rainstorm, I guess, because everything is wet and it's cloudy above. So it looks like it might rain again. So we're gonna go, just go ahead and stick it out and wait in line at Space Mountain. So we're gonna head that way. Change of plan because there's literally no way that Space Mountain was 55 minutes. It looked like a couple hours. I don't even know where the end of the line. We couldn't even find the end of the line. It was wrapped out and around and back. There's just no way. So we're gonna do the carousel of progress. There are quite a few people can get on this one. And it looks like it might rain again, so hopefully we can get inside before it does. Just remember when the kids are over 20 minutes early in the night. So we were just told the line I just shared with you to Buzz Lightyear is an hour and 45 minutes, but it's raining and we have nowhere else to go. So we're just gonna hang out in this line till we figure out if there's something better. But if not, I mean, everybody is in line for something right now. So I guess we're just gonna wait it out and see if it really is an hour and 45 minutes. It's 1.34 now. We're already about to the entrance portion. And we've only been in line for 15 minutes on the dock. <laughs> we only waited in line for like 25 minutes and we're off the shoot so my Yeah! There's Buzz. Alright, 75.9. 141.3 I'm pretty sure this is this is the best ride in this in Magic Kingdom. It's awesome. <laughs> Buzz, Light, Buzz, Buzz Light, you know, epic. And now we're in line at Space Mountain because that said an hour and 45 minutes, or at least the guy in the line told us that um, who worked there, who was marking the end of the line because it was that far away from the front. And it only took us 25 minutes. So now we're in line for Space Mountain. It says 70. It's 2.10, two, two 2.11, two we'll see. It's about to start pouring too. Katie was prepared. I wasn't, so this is what it is. Just gonna wing it. Didn't want my ears to get wet, so I took them off. We've been in line for 35 minutes on the dot, and we're finally getting close to going inside. Coasters. It's been 48 minutes at this point, uh, and we still have to wind through. So for this ride, it is probably going to be the true 80 minute wait that they said it would be. And now we're in two minutes. We're getting closer. The last, we're here at the front. An hour and four minutes. Slightly faster than 70 minutes, barely. That was so much better that I remember it being so much fun. Because you're completely in the dark. You have no idea where you're going, what's coming next. Well worth the wait. And right at the end, they were like, we need two people. And we were right there and we got to skip like six people. So if the line, if the line is long, it's probably pretty accurate on time. But wait, just do it. The rain has let up. And now we are going to his restroom, grab a snack, and then probably head to the teacups. It has been a very, very full, very successful day. It's only, we got here at eight, so it's 3.25 now, so six hours. We've been here for six hours, and we've done a ton so far. We've done so many things. You can get a lot in. You just move, move, move. Ears are back on. And we are in line for the teacups. 
Shouldn't be too long of a wait. I think it's like 35 minutes or so, so we'll see how accurate that is. And then after this, we're going to get a snack and ride Dumbo, and then see if Pirates of the Caribbean ride leaves or let it be open. We're on the teacups! I mean, you have to ride the teacups or at Disney World. Disney and not ride the teacups. It's the best. That was I think that was the most fun we've had on a ride yeah, today. I think that was my favorite. You have to ride the teacups. So now we're going to Gaston's to get the infamous cinnamon roll that everyone speaks of. And then after that, hopefully, again, pirates might be open. We're gonna do jungle cruise and kind of hit the other stuff that we haven't gotten to hit yet. So ears up. We waited long enough because like, yeah, earlier the line to go into Gaston was way out the door and now there's no line. Moment of truth, bon appetit. That's pretty good. And it's the size of your face though. So. It's not Dollywood cinnamon bread, but it's very delicious. I just want to point out that it's 79 degrees. This overcast and a little bit rainy weather has been perfect. We're headed to the carousel because we needed to poo. It's a 65 minute wait. And we've already ridden our share. We like rode Ariel, we rode the Haunted Mansion, which is different, but you know, Ariel's pretty similar. So love poo, nothing against poo. Poo's a good bear, but we're gonna head to the carousel because it's a shorter wait. And then we'd rather spend our time waiting in line for the bigger attractions like the Seven Doors, Jungle Cruise, stuff like that. So, off we go. We only waited like 20 minutes. We're on our horses. It's carousel time. And Pirates of the Caribbean just opened. So as soon as this is over, we are trekking it over there. The carousel was nice, but um, Pirates of the Caribbean is open, so more important things. We were gonna ride Pirates first this morning, it was closed. We were gonna ride it this afternoon, it was closed. We wanted to ride again, closed again. So we were trying to get there as fast as possible. I'm gonna look at the app and see if it's actually closed. For fear of it closing again. <laughs> Moment of truth. It's still open. <laughs> Pirates line is insane, but we've waited all day. Fire at will! I raise a toast to one of my many shipmates lost at sea. Salute. So the wait right now for Jungle Cruise is 80 minutes. So we hopped right over to, right next to it is Aladdin's Magic Carpet Room. So we are going to ride this one. It's only like 30 minute wait, which is not bad. You can see a Jungle Cruise goes down and hop over to that one. I got our magic carpet. To make the carpet tip. Magic carpet ride was fun. The line definitely took as long as it said it was gonna took. So I'm going to grab some corn dogs now. The line for Jungle Cruise is still 80 minutes. So Katie's gonna get line. I'm gonna grab some food so we can at least have some dinner and wait. We got our corn dogs and our chips. We're now in line Jungle Cruise for Katie. I think she was like at the front and I wasn't done getting corn dogs. Nobody had shock. Now we're back in line, but it's moving pretty quick. So hopefully it won't be too bad. We finally made it on a jungle cruise after a whole fiasco, a very long line. It was good, not as good as I remember it, but I also think it depends on how enthusiastic your tour guide is. Ours was good, but I think you gotta have a break for that ride. So now we are headed, Splash Mountain has been closed for hours now. So we're headed to the Speedway over in Tomorrowland. 7.37 now, 9.15 is fireworks. So we're just gonna get in as much as we can till then. <laughs> I'm already wrecking. I'm doing it. 
this is pulled up at the Tomorrowland Speedway. <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming that's something that they're building right now, but it looks pretty cool. Racetrack was fun. We are now headed. Splash Mountain finally open after all day. That's like our last thing that we have to do to complete all of the major things in Magic Kingdom. I'm gonna say, I think we nailed this day pretty good. We did pretty good. We've hit everything, all the big stuff. We've only missed a few like small things that I don't think were mega important to like get your full Magic Kingdom experience. So I think we did pretty good. I'm pretty proud of ourselves, so. 15 minutes before fireworks, they announced that they might shut the ride down. So we ran to the fireworks where they were ushering people to the exit because that was the only place left to watch. We veered off right here on the edge and we watched the fireworks right on Main Street. We noticed people getting close up spots for the fireworks probably around seven. Ran out of there. The line for Pop Century is not bad yet. I don't know how bad it'll get. But we're done for the day. It was a good day. Very successful. We got a lot in. But man, my feet are screaming at me. We did so much. We hit so many things. So many things. The only thing we missed was the seven dwarves, but the, the line never dropped below 80 minutes on that. Literally ever. We were in line for Splash Mountain and they were like, hey, we might have to close it due to weather. So we were like, no, nope, fireworks show, which was the move. Definitely the move. Always go to the fireworks show. Everything hurts. Everything hurts my neck, my back. <laughs> I will say, we just walked into our room, a little disappointed Disney. No, nobody came and gave us fresh towels or made our beds. Not even really upset about the bed, more like the towels, like nothing. There was not a stitcher room service. Not a stitcher room service, nothing. And we still paid 170 a night for this bad boy, but that's fine. So. Otherwise, fantastic day, a lot of fun. I'd say that's how you do Magic Kingdom in one day. Tomorrow we will hit up Hollywood Studios via the Skyline. And then we've got to try and log into Rise of the Resistance first thing in the morning at 6.59.59 is what people say. And then we're headed over to Epcot after two. And then we're done with our Disney trip. Short, sweet, to the point. We're, we're attempting to do Disney in two days. So far, so good. I think we've done a pretty daggum good job. All right. Good night, guys.